is Heathcliff. Yuck! I've got his breakfast. Heathcliff's still sleeping, Grandpa. He just doesn't seem to have any energy. I've got just the thing for him. I got these vitamins at the pet store. I'll slip it in his food so he won't know he's taking it. You know how Heathcliff hates to take pills. I'm so tired. Heathcliff! Heathcliff! Heathcliff, wake up! Your breakfast ready. Heathcliff, wake up! I'm really worried about you. Maybe I should take you to the vet today for a checkup. Vet! Okay, okay. I get the message. Just come and eat your breakfast. Heathcliff, wake up! Forget it, Iggy. He's out cold. I know how to wake him. Yeah. Works every time. Now eat your breakfast. That'll make you feel better. Aw, oh, come on, Heathcliff. It's just a vitamin. If it's just a vitamin, why do they have to sneak it into my food? Hmm. It'll give you energy. Yeah, Heathcliff. You've been awfully tired lately. Well, I guess I haven't been myself lately. <laughs> I guess it couldn't wait. There. That wasn't so bad. Just one of these doggy vitamins every day and... Doggy vitamins? <laughs> Dog! Don't be so dramatic. It was a simple mistake. It won't hurt you. Huh? Eek. Doggy vitamins. Well, I guess Grandpa's right. What could happen? Woof. Hey. Woof. Woof. It's the milkman. Woof. Oh, no. It's Heathcliff. Woof. No! I think these belong whoop, to you. Whoop. Heathcliff? Whoop. What came over me? Hi, Heathcliff. How are you doing? I've got a full load today. I know that makes you happy. Hey, Heathcliff! What are you doing? <laughs> Heathcliff! Give me back my shoe! Ouch! What's gotten into that cat?
what am I doing out here? Yeah, what's the difference? It's chow time. I know I should be going in here, but um, somehow fish doesn't sound good to me anymore. I'm having the strangest cravings, but I just don't know what I want. That's it. That's what I want. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, Spike. Uh, except my apologies, pal. Pal? What am I saying? Look, 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 Heathcliff. I, I, I don't want any trouble. Come on, Spike. I just want to be friends. It's a trick. You're, you're going to hurt me. Sometimes it's so hard to be friendly. Come on, Spike. Let's be buddies. Hi. Spike, can't we... Whatever you're planning, Heathcliff, just do it. Get it over with. I'm not planning anything. I can't take it anymore! <laughs> this is what you were planning to do? Or maybe you were going to do this? I got it. It must have been... There! Now are you happy? <laughs> Dogs sure are strange. Arr! I better get out of here before anyone sees me acting like this. Oh, this is too much. I gotta go to the pet shop and get some super cat vitamins to counteract these doggy vitamins. Woof, woof. Well, this is the place. These ought to do the trick. What? Stop, thief, stop! Polly want a big fist in the mouth? You put that back. Put what back? These. Where did that come from? Now stay away. What am I going to do? That cat out there is making fun of us because we're locked up and he's free. Let's break out of this joint and teach him a lesson. What is all this? Him again. Here, take the vitamins. Just get out of here. You're driving the dogs crazy. At last, the antidote. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Childproof top. All I need is a child. Iggy! <clears throat> there. That ought to fix you up. There are some advantages to having humans around. are great vitamins. That's my Heathcliff. Junkyard cats, stay away from this stuff. Hear me? It's dangerous. 
come from the laboratory of some weird professor named Crazaloon. Lot of work for nothing. It's just a bunch of junk. Maybe that's why they sent it to a junkyard. Yeah, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, look what I found. What is it? Yeah, I don't know, but it sure looks neat. Looks like an engine. A powerful engine. Yeah, maybe it'll fit at the Cadillac. Not bad. It fits just fine. Guess we ought to give it a spin. It's a mean machine from Professor Crazy Loon. Sounds like a rocket ship heading for the moon. Mungo, this was your idea! You crazy cat! Cliff, where are we? <laughs> Yeah, uh, what happened? Whoa! Whoa! Somehow time is totally messed. We ended up in the Wild West. We're getting out of here the same way we got here. You are now a part of Professor Crazy Loon's greatest invention. <laughs> the time machine. According to the present time mode, you should be in the old vest. You have exactly eight hours before the machine returns automatically to the place where you started. Of course, this time machine isn't guaranteed to return at all. So, you may be stuck. But thanks for being my guinea pigs. Better hide the Cadillac. As long as we're stuck here for a while, let's do a little investigating. Wow, we really are in the Old West. Hey, you! Wait! Hold it! Come back! <laughs> no way! You can't escape! No! No! I don't get much to catch and get in my way. You hear? Yes, sir. Well, whatever you say, sir. Don't any of y'all get in my way again, cause if you do, I'll toss y'all in jail and throw away the key. You hear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Whatever, Whatever you say, you say sir. sir. Uh, howdy. Uh, welcome to the Cat Town General Store. Great tarnation. Where'd you get those sissy-looking outfits? And wheels on your boots. Huh? This? Holy mackerel, I never. How does he do that? Hey, come back. Come back here, you vomit. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, no! I think we're in trouble. I'm gonna get the sheriff after you sissy dress vomits for being in cahoots with a thief. I bet you're having fun in the old vest. But only six hours left. Hasn't been much fun yet. But it's about to be. Pretty brave mouse walking up to a cat. Out of my way, you sissy dressed greenhorn! Huh? Yow! Yow! Now. Maybe we'll get some respect. Well, out of my way. One milk, smooth as silk. Yahoo! Make that too. Uh, leave the bottle. Mind if I sit in? Hiya, stranger. I'm Miss Kitty. You must be new in these here parts. Real new. Hey, 
ace of spades. Oh, my! Oh, my! Why don't we go out to look at the sunset? But it's still morning. You know, you got beautiful cat's eyes. I don't like your looks, partner. And I don't like your looks looking at my girl. Uh, look, Mr. Uh, Polecat, sir, I I'm not looking at... Uh... Oh! So looky here, you interloping looker. We'll be looking for you at the kitty cat corral. I know, my gang against your gang. Hey, Polecat! Come look at the great wagon I found. Sure, Billy the Cat. Be right there. Yeah! <laughs> Billy, this is the best wagon we ever took. But that's ours. <laughs> Not anymore. Only one hour left. Have fun. We're running out of time. Just follow the directions I gave you, and you'll head straight for Polecat's hangout. Uh, after you're done, just cut the horses loose. They know the way back. And leave this old wreck in the junk pile. Thanks for the loan. Anything I can do to help put that ornery Polecat in his place. Hold up! They held up the bank! I knew those sissy greenhorns were trouble! Yeah, gosh, yeah, there's a bunch of guys yelling. Yeah, maybe we should stop. Isn't the old vest exciting? Only 30 minutes left. No time to stop and chat, Bungo. <laughs> What's that smell? Yeah, skunks. They're shooting skunk wads. Load up your skunk wads, boys. We'll make those vomits smell like the skunks they are. There's the Cadillac. Hector, you and Wordsworth see if you can get it started. Now! Get on the track, or we won't be going back. We give up. The stink's too much. They better get the Cadillac started soon. One minute to return. Maybe. N nothing's happening. It won't start. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Dress silly. Now tell the truth. Didn't you have a good time? You know, they say a cat always lands on his feet, even if he falls off the Empire State Building. Cats are very well balanced, uh, most of the time. But cats are made of flesh and bone, just like you kids. And once in a long while, accidents do happen. Even to the best of us, if you think your cat has a broken bone, take him or her to the vet.